Hey everybody, Mike Rich Mike. We are back with an electric scooter this time. It's a first for the channel. This is the Eohora Knight M1PS. It goes 55 miles an hour and it costs just under $5,000. Is it worth your money? Well, I am very excited to find out. I'm also very nervous about taking this thing for a test drive, but we're gonna do it because this packs a powerful punch. This is over 200 pounds delivered right to your front door. The bike itself weighs 187 pounds. And I have been watching the videos. I have been doing my research and you get a lot of stuff with this right here. So inside the box, and this is some very thick <laughs> cardboard. Tell you what, yeah, this, oh, 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 this is gorgeous. Okay. Let's show you what comes in the box. We have right here all kinds of things, okay? So we have a toolkit. We also have something that makes this scooter much different. This right here is a title. This is a street legal electric scooter. You get a title with this. You get a VIN number with this. So you can register this with the DMV. We have <laughs> oh, a charging cable right here, which looks more like a Tesla cable. Let me show you. This is it. Check this out. Yeah, it looks like something you would charge a car with, but nope, this is for your electric scooter. Well, I believe this is a cover for your scooter. It comes with a waterproof cover. Look at this thing. Absolutely. And yep, it is marked. This is gorgeous and it is thick. Okay, this is great. We're gonna put it over here. We get a little box right here. Why don't you guys move in and I'll show you more. Inside this box right here, we have These, oh, oh yeah, because it's street legal, you have to have side mirrors. Look at this, you get rear view mirrors. Look at that. Ta-da! Oh, okay, well, hello gorgeous. You get keys, two keys that will lock up the battery cover for you and lock the battery just like a car. You get two remote controls, double push this one, and it will turn on. It has an alarm system right here. I'll show you how that works in just a little bit. You can lock it with your key fob. But yeah, if you push the lock button and someone comes up and tries to mess with it, well, the alarm's gonna go off and you know exactly what will happen. These are pedal or footrest extenders in case you're a little taller. These right here are your actual footrests and they will fold back just like this, okay? We have a telephone <laughs> carrier. And what's really nice is on the bottom of this, there it is right there. Here you go, it's a charging point. So you can plug in your phone. Yeah, you can charge your phone while you're riding your electric scooter. We get this right here, which is the attachment point for your handlebars and right this there. is the best part of all. This is your color. LCD screen. We will put the bike together, turn this on. It's going to give you everything you need to know. <sighs> this is giant. There it is. This is your battery charger. You get a 72 volt battery with this scooter right here. And this is the charging point for it all. Look at this. It's heavy. It is cooled by an electric fan. We'll show you how it attaches and everything. The, <laughs> everything feels so substantial. It really does. It doesn't feel like one of those cheap, cheap electric bikes. This is, this girl's got some heft to her. She is incredible. Okay, so let me show you what's under the packaging right here because I'm excited to show you the saddle. Yeah, it's amazing. This thing is packed really, really well. So I'm just kind of putting all this styrofoam 
right there. But this, take a look at this saddle. Let me get all of this out of the way. That huge thing right there, this is your saddle. This is, okay, I wear size large gloves. This thing is humongous. It's like a motorcycle saddle. It is black, it is studded, it is stunning. And I gotta tell you, I love it. Look at how comfortable that's gonna be. <laughs> okay, to show you the rest of the bike, we have to cut it open because like I said, this is 187 pounds, so I cannot lift this myself. So we're gonna move the camera and I'm gonna show you what it looks like sitting in the box. This is the fun part. This is what I love doing the most. This I call the big reveal, okay? And this is always safe to do because they pack these things so well. You're not gonna hit anything if you use your box cutter. Okay, I think we're ready almost. Are you ready? Here she is in all of her glory. <laughs> this is huge. Oh my gosh. Look at how, wait a minute. I'm 5'9". This has got to be like 5'8". It really does. Oh, 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 this is beautiful. <sighs> All right. Let's get back to work. Look at the fender. Look how thick these are. Let's move it out of the box. Oh my gosh. Yep. Handlebars. Whoa. All right. Take a look at this. Handlebars right here. These are oh, 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 everything you could ever want right here. This is so, so, so cool. There it is. Look at this. And the coolest part look at the disc. Look at that. Most of the scooters that I have ridden have a little rotor right here. This is as big as the rim, okay? This tire is good for 6,200 right. miles. Well, Let's start the assembly video. Here is what comes inside your toolkit. You have a M1PS owner's manual, two reflectors. You get some bolts right here. You get a very nice wrench, some Allen wrenches. Look at this. This is like something a mechanic would use. This is nice. These are nice, these are hefty. You get a little screwdriver and you're gonna keep it all nice and safe inside this very cool toolkit. There it is. All right, let's get to work. I cannot wait to sit on this thing. Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay, handlebars, you flip up right here. They have little grooves right here that hold this kind of into place, and they give you a very, very nice cover with the name right there on it. So we put it on loosely, and then we rotate it into position exactly where we want it. Okay, I'm kind of thinking right there. Okay, we'll tighten this down. And then we can always adjust them.
just like a motorcycle. Look at that. Yep, zero to 50, 55, possibly 60 right there. Okay, you attach the wheel from the back because the caliper closes right there. So you get two spacers when you are putting on the wheel. The longer one goes on this side with the caliper. Um, and you just have to kind of line everything up. The wheel attaches from the back. You push it through the forks and then it closes right in through here. So that's where you go to attach this thing. Come on. There you go. Put your spacer right in here. And then line up the holes. And you should be good to go. <clears throat> that is perfect. Now, when I show you the nuts, you're not gonna believe it because they have designed these things to be gorgeous. Are you ready? Take a look at the washer. There's even a little edge to it right here. This is your nut. Look how they, look at the detail. They've just machined some grooves into it and it just gives it a little pizzazz. I mean, it really does. I'm just gonna try to get these. I want it to be perfect. So I'm getting the same, same amount of the bolt coming out of both sides. They give you two of these so you can lock them down. This is the 19. Here you go. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, 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 this is gorgeous. So this is the kickstand right here. And like I said, when it is down like this, the bike's not gonna go, okay? When you pop it up like this, it, there's a kill switch, so it releases that and you can start the bike and you can go wherever you wanna go. But I think this is amazing. Here's a little tip. Because the size of this Eohora Knight M1PS, amazing scooter, because it's so heavy and you have to hold the front of the bike up, you can't do that by yourself. So I just got something flat and strong and I just kinda of set it right here, which is fine. Time now for the foot rests, which you have two options, okay? You can mount them right here on the frame, which according to other YouTubers, okay, um, this will sometimes hit if, you, if you're turning really sharp, and this is very low to the ground, but this can rub. So the company has provided, these are so cool. These are really, really cool. Um, yeah, these are extenders. So you can do this right here and attach this right here, which is what I'm going to do. I think this is fantastic. I love this, okay? So let's do that. The pedals are marked LZ and RZ, so we're gonna put the RZ on the right side. I think I'm gonna do it like this, so they'll fold back like that. And then when they're extended, they go out like this, okay? The way you know that the bracket here, it goes to each side is that they, these are threaded right here and these are smooth. All right, now we'll get the other side. For the front fender, you have three attachment points, two in the front, one in the back, I believe this is it, um, right here. You simply slide this in, and that's how it goes, right there. So this is the attachment point right here. So we'll loosen these two. You get extra washers because you want a little rubber washer to go behind the fender on the attachment point right here, just to keep everything nice and quiet. Then we'll go to the other side and then we'll 
finalize and tighten these down. But look at the detail, okay? Look at, the, these aren't just little, look at the, there's just, it's gorgeous. There's a design every single place. It's beautiful. Time now for the display, which <laughs> is gorgeous. Okay, so let me see if I can get this in here. You know, I have assembled bikes that were $500 that were much more difficult than this. Almost $5,000, way superior. This thing is just a breeze to put together. And then you connect the connector, which is right here. Okay, so there's a little notch here, and there's a notch there. Align the notches, and then you're good to go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, two more things. We have the phone holder. We have the rear view mirrors. Placement of the phone holder is right here by your brake fluid. And there's the connector right here. If I can put it underneath here that it goes to. See that right there? Yeah, and this connects with a screwdriver. So you loosen the back up, attach this, plug in the power, and then like I said, you can charge your phone while you're riding your awesome scooter. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And one of my other favorite features, you have turn signals and this cancels. And finally, the jewels. Here you go. We have, look at that. Yep, one mirror over here, one mirror over there, and you are good to go. And they have tightening little nuts to them too right here. So this just simply screws in. I gotta move the camera here just a second. There it is. So you position them how you want and you tighten them like that. So we're gonna leave them a little bit loose until we get everything situated. And these are gonna be fantastic. Okay, and you notice you do have little boots, so once you get these tightened, you put your boot over it just like that, and you are perfect and ready to go. Oh, I love it. Finally, what powers your 4,000 watt motor, 4,000 watts, 178 Newton meter motor is a 72 volt battery, which is right here. Okay, so what you do is put your key in, you give this a little tap right here, see? and it comes off, look at that. That is a beast. That is a beast. Before you plug this in, this has to be down, so it is actually, what does this say, off? And you plug it in and you turn it back on. So let's just kind of see. I wanna make sure that that says off. Here we go, off, plug this in. Oh, I cannot wait. This is amazing, okay. That helps you take it out. There it is. Flip this up to on. There you go. I think we have power. And then we put this back on. Okay, and you see the hooks right there. Make sure it's situated where they're supposed to be. All right, to put this back on, you really have to be fidgety with the side pieces right here. And when you turn the key, that kind of helps push it on. So it's on, which I love. This is your charging point right here. Oh, oh, oh. Now, let's get the remote and see how it works. Now that she is all assembled, I gotta tell you. Oh, oh, oh. I can't imagine what it's gonna be like going 55 on this thing? Whoa. Okay, like I said, you get two remotes. We are going to hit this button twice. Look how this illuminates right there. Look at all the functions that you get. If I just show you the owner's manual right here, look at all the functions. 
you get from left to right the direction indicator to the left you get ready which the bike is ready to go you get your wide lamp you get your look see what looks like a gas pump right there that's your battery level your right indicator EDC fault with the battery cruise con this has cruise control speed display and miles per hour you can switch it to kilometers you get your odometer your battery status which are the little slots right down there okay now see where it says gear that is kind of it's called a mode and you switch that right here and it it, it does not have um, gears like a regular bike okay this is just how fast you can go so you have mode two you have mode three which is top speed you can go one which is going to limit you in speed two medium speed and three all out you know what to the wall okay you have turn signal indicators right here we can go right here to the left okay you hit this button right here it cancels it you go to the right there's your right button right there which is amazing listen to the horn that's that's like a car horn that's louder than my mercedes horn right there um and right here you have flashers should something happen and you're on the side of the road you do have flashers you can turn that off and you have lights which are amazing kind of a driving light and then this is the headlamp let me show you that here you go look at that that is gorgeous there's a low and high beam as well which is cool and if i wanted to add the turn signal let me do this that's what it looks like there's the front if i go around here to the back can you see right there there's the back i love this scooter this is so cool and then of course we want to go to the left you see it blinking right there and then right there and then if i hit the brakes you've got a brake light see how cool is that oh ho, ho, ho. you guys you can't see the smile on my face right now but there is one from ear to ear as if all of this is not enough let me show you what the cover looks like this is nice this is really nice and there's even a strap to go around it so nothing's going to fly off okay it attaches <laughs> just like this you've got these gorgeous red almost like a red stripe right there which will go here then you have the badging on the front which is beautiful so we just gotta put it like this very very quickly here we go and that is what this looks like here's the badge i can turn this right here look at that yeah that that is a nice cover that's going to keep your bike so protected just like that beautiful Oh, I cannot wait to ride this. Absolutely. Okay, this is where you charge it. This looks just like a Tesla charger. You plug this right in here. You push this button, this comes off, this comes out, and kapow. There you go. Let it charge, and you're gonna get 65 to 70 miles of range. <laughs> that is amazing. We'll close that back up. Look at this. Okay. Well, I can't wait anymore. Very quickly, if that wasn't enough to convince you, 4,000 watt motor capable of 55 miles an hour. You get a 72 volt battery. You get thickened, humongous tires right there. Turn signals, cruise control, hazards, hydraulic brakes, running daytime lights, regular high and low beam turn signals in the front and the back and so many smiles on your face when you take this out for a ride. So we're gonna hit this twice. She's gonna to come to life. We're gonna put this down to cruise one. Yep, gear one, put up the kickstand, which now says I can activate this thing. And for the first time ever, I'm gonna take her for a spin, but you have to wait for the next video to see what that is like. So, ha <laughs> ha. Huge thank you to everybody at Eohoro for sending me this spectacular scooter. I mean, I don't know what to call it. I keep wanting to say 
electric bike, but it's so much more. I keep wanting to call it a motorcycle, but it is so much more. This is just incredible. I cannot wait to bring the next video to you. So thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. We're going to be back with the riding video very, very soon. All right, everybody, here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah.